Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to Correct Mapping. Our presentation will be starting in about two minutes. We're just going to wait for some uh, for everybody to make sure they're connected and in the room. So um, we'll be live in two minutes. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this uh, webinar around uh, correct mapping. Um, if you would like to ask any questions throughout the presentation, if you type them in the box um, at the side of the screen, and then we can answer them uh, at the end of the presentation. So, just introducing your host for today. So, myself, Richard Gorshwin, I'm the Business Area Manager for Mapping and GIS at Correc, and Paul Brodin, the technical lead for our software development team. And you know, I think this is probably a, a good place to start. Paul and myself have worked together in Correc for nearly 20 years now, both specialised in GIS throughout that time. Um, and you know, we really feel that we have that experience and the knowledge to bring solutions to the market and uh, really specialise in the applications that we're going to show you today. So Correct's mission statement is always to help people, businesses and organisations to be as effective as they can be. Um, so, you know, bring your benefits, whether that's cost savings, efficiencies, things like that throughout your business. And just in terms of where we're located, head office is in Liverpool. Our main operation centre is down in Huntingdon in Cambridgeshire. And then there are offices over in Dublin and Belfast as well. And throughout those uh, bases, we're providing sales, training, support, uh, service and repair, hire and professional services around some of the solutions. And all of those solutions, especially for mapping, are focused around particular industry sectors, highways, construction, rail, telecoms and utilities, security, environment and forestry. And throughout those sectors, we've worked with a number of companies, uh, whether that be large corporations such as Highways England or Network Rail, large engineering consultancies like Alpha BT, Skanska, Talis, Amy, um, but also central and local government, the utilities, um, environmental consultancies such as uh, SEPA, the National Parks Authorities, uh, the Forestry Service, and down to local authorities as well, uh, people like Merthyr Tidville, uh, County Council, Borough Council, uh, and people like that. So we cover a broad range and have the experience, whether it's looking for a small solution to equip a couple of people to go out in the field with, to a large workforce that's trying to manage huge projects and how this technology can help on those as well. And firstly, what I want to do is just cover um, the solutions we have with our partners. 
So we are the UK distributor for Trimble and particularly uh, the geospatial solutions, which include the mapping and GIS products. We are a silver partner, partner with Esri um, and all of the software solutions that they bring. And then we are also uh, the exclusive partner with Sensefly in the UK, and we can also sell the, the Parrot UAV solutions. So I'm just going to briefly go over the hardware solutions that we can offer from each of those partners before we start to look at how the software can integrate with each of those uh, to bring whole solutions to your business. So from the, the mapping and GIS side of Trimble, we have a, a number of devices. Position is at the forefront of all of the solutions that we try and offer, and certainly accurate position, again, is one of the key benefits of solutions that we bring. So whether that is um, trying to survey utilities or trying to find a position um, on a rail track or trying to inspect um, defects on a highways network, we do have solutions that will meet those requirements. So we have uh, handheld devices with integrated GNSS receivers. So the Trimble TDC 600, which will give you around about a meter accuracy. And then the TDC 150 and the Geo Explorer that will give you down to centimeter level of accuracy. And then also standalone GNSS receivers that can integrate with existing hardware that you've already invested in, but need to bring the positional accuracy um, into line with tolerances that you require. So Trimble Catalyst is a very uh, neat solution. It's just a, an antenna that plugs into an Android device and can give you down to centimeter level of positioning into an Android phone or tablet. And then we also have the Trimble R1 and R2 that can do a similar thing. So Bluetooth into any device, whether that be Android, iOS, or full Windows, and the, sub, uh, the Trimble R1 can give you sub-meter level of accuracy down to half a meter, or the R2 can go down to 10 or one centimeters. So in terms of position and making sure that you're capturing accurate data out in the field, we absolutely have you covered uh, from every aspect. Um, and you know, solutions like Trimble Catalyst are the priced at a point that you can equip whole workforces with accurate positioning solutions uh, that make it very cost effective to still be able to capture this data accurately. We also have flying things. So we have uh, the fixed wing solutions from Sensefly. So um, the new EB Geo and EB Ag, uh, that's again, that have been priced at a point at introduction level to the market for a fixed wing. So extremely cost effective. Um, and give you the, the flexibility to capture huge amounts of data very quickly. And then the kind of industry leading EBX, which has a multitude of sensors that you can add to that um, to allow you to capture data, whether that's uh, high definition aerial imagery, uh, 3D point clouds, um, thermal imagery as well, um, and near infrared data if you're looking at um, agricultural or vegetation uh, applications. And then also we have the copters as well from Parrot. So the Inafi work, which is a very simple solution for going capturing some high definition aerial imagery and point clouds, or maybe doing some remote inspection work. Uh, we can add thermal into that as well um, from the Inafi thermal. And then also the brand new Inafi USA which is very much aimed at emergency services, has an incredible 32 zoom camera on there as well as thermal for being able to um, either track people or find people, but also do remote uh, inspections very safely. And you'll see some data from each of these systems uh, later on in the presentation. And then also recently, we've just announced um, that we are a silver partner with Esri. So we have access to all of the software solutions uh, that they bring, which are absolutely industry leading, ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Online. Also the new field data capture app, uh, which is field maps, but also just linking back to the Trimble solutions that absolutely position and accuracy is 
you know, the, the key to everything that we do. So being able to uh, consult with businesses that need to bring that accuracy into an ARC environment for going out inspecting data and uh, capturing positions, um, you know, that's where we really feel that our strength is uh, integrating with, with the Esri products. Also with Paul's team, we can, you know, add bespoke workflows on top of these and do a bit of development to really give you uh, true benefits from the power of these uh, Esri products. And then finally, just to cover our mobile mapping solutions as well. So um, obviously you, I've shown you things that fly in the air. These are cameras that we can mount on vehicles to very quickly go and capture uh, large amounts of data, um, whether that's imagery only for uh, inspection purposes that we have the, the NT Tech iStar camera. So very cost effective entry level uh, way into mobile mapping. And then if you really need to be able to position and accurately measure data from within the imagery, we have the Trimble MX-7, which will do around 10 centimeters relative accuracy, or the, the industry leading Trimble MX-9 that can get us down to centimeter level positioning uh, from just driving an area and then creating 3D models from the point cloud data uh, and being able to measure within that environment. And again, you will see some solutions using these products later on in the presentation. So I'm going to hand you over to Paul now, who heads up our uh, software development division. So we write all of these solutions in-house with Paul's team. Um, and then we've just recently announced our new Correct Capture software um, with industry-specific workflows for certain vertical markets. So I will hand over Paul, who's going to take you through some of the software solutions. Paul? Hello, sorry about that. I was unable to take my microphone off, please. Okay, so the, the, the core solutions that we're looking at, today, the core capture solutions, they're all based around two parts. So it's a mobile field application and a browser-based portal. So the portal is completely UK or EU hosted, depending on your requirements. So if you have one of those, uh, if you work with one of those organizations that are sensitive about data being hosted outside the EU, then we've got that covered. It's also hosted in uh, Microsoft or environments. So it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's as high quality uh, hosted solution as what we can get. We do the highest uptime availability of any of the hosting solutions. Big benefits, no installation required. Everything that, everything that we show you today is just purely accessed through the browser. So the, the, the portal starts off, the workflow that you would go to for the portal is uh, you design a form for you to go out and add some data. And, and that really is a very easy process, which if you just click on the top right, Image there. Yes, so we'll zoom into the, the form editor. It, it takes two minutes to set up a form. So with, with this solution, it means that you, you can go from a standing start to having people out in the field capturing data within about half an hour. So you, you set up a form, all your field users will get notification that there are new forms to, to be using, and then they, they can download and start using those forms without ever coming back to the office. So the, the to return to some of the portal advantages, we've got the uh, background mapping is built in. So we have Ordnance Survey background maps, including Master Map for license. If you've got a Master Map license, you can use our version of the data. So there's no having to load data into the portal. It's just available you know, for, from day one. Uh, the, the, the big advantage of the portal is the fact that we can wirelessly transfer jobs. So if you've got somebody whose job it is, is to do a job in the field, you can keep them there all the time. And th th there's no need for them to ever come back to the office in order to be able to download or pick up new jobs. Uh, the, the portal also comes with a, a, a very sophisticated GIS in the background. Now, we've taken all the complexity out of that. So what you're left with is a really easy to use mapping interface that's focused on specific jobs. And what we'll see as we go through this presentation is some of the all the solutions that we're going to be having a quick look at today are all based around these two products, a portal and a mobile but they are subtly changed and they have an emphasis on different things so that the, 
we're, we're removing the complexity of doing any one particular job. So you're not just landed with a mammoth program that can do everything. We try to take a lot of the complexity of this sort of work out of, out of the solutions. Uh, so so the, 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 the basic system comes with standard filters, standard styles, and standard reports. So you can get access to anything that's been captured in the field. You can download in your CSV and your Excel files uh, just straight out of the box. Moving over onto the, the mobile application. So the, the, one of the big advantages, obviously, it's a, it has a very low barrier to entry. You can use existing phones that you've got within your organization. It's a fully cross-platform product, so it'll work on your iOS or your Android devices. It'll work on any Windows tablets or Android tablets that you might have in the office. So you, you can get out there and start using this solution with no hardware at all. And also, no GIS knowledge. Uh, the vast majority of our users, probably 75, 80% of our, our field users, have no knowledge of GIS, don't know what GIS means. So they are out there doing the job, and we're just equipping them with a tool to be able to properly record uh, and provide evidence that, that that job has been done correctly. So again, again similar to the portal, the, the, the mobile has streaming background maps, so there's no need to having to worry about where your maps are going to come from or having to go through an upload process. We've got that covered. And again, being a UK organization, coordinate systems, you just don't even, it's just not a consideration. These systems will work in the UK and Ireland for, from a single uh, uh, a switch. Also capable of working globally as well, but the, the, they, they are focused on the, the UK and Ireland ones. So the, the, if you're working in those markets, they are really, really easy to use. The, the product comes with, as you'd expect, point line and area capture. So, so uh, I, but also, you'd expect that from many sorts of GIS products, you'd expect to be able to capture point line areas. But it does come with, with some sophisticated line editing tools as well. So you've got tools for, for breaking lines and joining lines together, snapping lines. A lot of stuff that you wouldn't get in a, a standard data capture app because we are a GIS company and we, 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 we work with maps all the time. But you do get a lot of that that expertise built into this. Uh, and then the, the other bit that we spend a lot of time on, and one of our big, big advantages, is the, the rules-based data entry. So from a very simple interface of building up a form, you can create some really complex forms. You know, we have, we, one of our biggest customers is ESB over in Ireland, the, the electricity board over there, who at, at one time had 300, 320 users in the field, all non-technical People you know, technical in their in their particular industry, but not not technical in the way of using a handheld mobile device. They were all capturing forms that had over a hundred questions in them. But because we've done as much to simplify that process and put as much rules in there, nobody ever had had to answer more than about twenty five questions on a particular poll because all the other questions have been determined irrelevant due to the responses that they've made earlier on in the process. So we go to the next one. So, so, so the, the, what we'll see later on when we delve into some of the more sophisticated products is they, they, all, they all rely on those platforms. They all rely on a hosted map platform that allows work to be allocated out and to be able to review what you're seeing and a, and a really easy to use mobile application focused on uh, on, on not interrupting the type of work that, that somebody is already doing. It's, it's, it's not our usual type of customer. We, you know, we, we, we don't normally sell to surveyors who are doing nothing other than capturing data all day long. Our users tend to be out there doing something else and just need the, the proof of that, that work's done or the, or, or the ability to go back and review that data. Uh, so, so, so we want something that's as inobtrusive as possible. But having said that, so, so we have a, a, a wide range of different types of users, and, and they will all have a different requirement for what type of hardware they want to use. So we, we have users who, who are doing standard form-based entry, where, where location is not, is not important, and in some cases, they just don't care about location at all. Now, being, being a location-based company, we always want to get a location. So if we if we can capture that in the background without the user know about it, then, then then we'll do that. 
if the user really doesn't want location, then we can take it out. But you know, everything one of our little cash lines is everything happens somewhere. So you know, even if you're doing like one of our, our ones is, is a TB test where the, where the the benefits the system brings are not are nothing to do with location. It's all about speed of data input and providing a really efficient method of capturing uh, animal data as animals are whizzing past in front of you. But we still capture location in the background. It, it doesn't cost anything to do that. Uh, so, so we move on from those users to the ones who are doing the low, low accuracy GIS capture. So this, this is where you're doing, you, you, you're running on a standard piece of hardware, a standard consumer piece of hardware, a phone or a tablet, good for about five meters. You, you can sub, sub, uh, supplant a, a TDC 600 in there, they'll get you down to, to that one to two meter accuracy, but, but generally low accuracy. Accuracy is not the main criteria. You now what you're doing is trying to provide uh, proof of work done and uh, capturing information that is, that is relatively easy to get back to without having to have really accurate uh, positions. So you know, this tends to be the sort of, uh, the tree surveys and the street lights. And if, you, if you're recording the fact that a light's out or a tree needs some work doing it, you don't need centimeter accuracy for that. You know, somebody's gonna be able to find the tree if you can navigate them back to within two meters of it or five meters of it, they're gonna be able to find that. But this, the, the, that area is our most productive, that, that little slot there is probably our, our, our biggest user base because that's where the, the high volume opportunities uh, are. The, the, you can have workforces of 100 or 200 that are, are, are out there doing another job but just need to capture some information. And one of our most exciting projects that we're working on recently is where, again, they're not overly interested in position, but they are, they are monitoring the installation of some fairly sophisticated uh, products. And what they're capturing with the K-Mobile solution is evidence that these products have been installed correctly. So they're taking, even on just the, the installation of a, a product that takes about an hour, they are taking about 30 photographs to, so, to prove that at every step of the, every stage of the process, that piece of, install, that, that piece of equipment was installed correctly. And nobody's actually looking at this information until later on in the process. If there, if there becomes a claim that something's gone wrong, they can then go and review and, and ensure that the product was actually installed properly. Uh, we, have, we have a number of companies doing this. One provides sort of like certification. So they're proactively reviewing an installation and providing a certificate to say that it was done correctly. The other one is more reactive and they're just going back and if there's ever an issue, they can go back and say, that's why there was an issue. It wasn't installed properly. Very interesting non-GIS application for, for, for our technology. One of our other uh, big growth areas is, is this next point, this next area, which is for high accuracy, but low capture volume GIS. So this is where we bring in Catalyst, which is this antenna only solution. So you just take the antenna, you plug it into your mobile phone, and we can give you centimeter level accuracy on, on your mobile phone for a solution that costs less than a thousand pound a user. The hardware is only 300, 350 pounds. And you, you, can, you can take that hardware, connect it to your phone and be getting position, uh, centimeter level positions you know, from the same sorts of accuracy that you would normally need to spend six or 7,000 uh, pounds to achieve. Now it's not magic and we're not, we're not throwing away the, the, all the, that expensive survey equipment. There is a, subscription cost that goes with that. So you're paying by the hour as opposed to, uh, to, to, to buying an expensive piece of hardware up front, but it does enable you to look at equipping a workforce of 20 or 30 people to all have a piece of equipment that may sit in their glove compartments for 90% of the time. And maybe once a week or once a day, they take that piece of equipment out and capture a bit of high accuracy data. We've now got a solution that, that it's cost effective to equip a hundred users to do that. And then the final one is the 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 the, the, the where we take the, the 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 hardware and we we combine it with a real proper high accuracy piece of equipment. You know, the, from the R series, you know, the R twos or the R tens or even the R twelve with the inclinometer. We can take that if you've made the investment in that, that expensive hardware, but you've got an application that is very GIS based and very form driven, then you can plug your your 
you have an expensive receiver into K Mobile, and you can be working with K Mobile with all the benefits of that, all the, the, uh, the, the work efficiency benefits of that piece of hardware. The drainage surveys is, is our big customer in that area where they are doing you know, eight hours capture a day, all at centimeter accuracy. Right, the, we've recently launched the, 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 the Coric Capture suite of products which provides industry-focused applications and get, getting started points for a whole range of solutions. So these are solutions that we've done for individual customers over the last six or seven years. We've now got them all boxed up so that if you're a utility company, you can come along and buy our utility product and you're going to start off with a load of dashboards and a load of forms and a load of functionality into the mobile software that's tailored for doing that, that application. So not got time to go into all of these today, but I'll just pick a couple to go into. So the Gully one is an interesting one. Which you can expand on the Gully one. Because this has taken this, this has taken our mobile application and our hosting solution and, and put them together with a few dashboards and a little bit of work, work order management and producing a full end-to-end -end solution that it, it's got uh, scheduling in the diaries, you've got very specific targeted KPIs so that you can easily review, are we, are we cleaning enough gullies? What's the particular uh, fail rates that we're getting for gullies that we can't get to, be either because they're, they're jammed or there's cars parked over them? It's, it's providing the full audit history of every inspection that's ever done, and we have some simple analysis that would enable us to say, that gully is, every time you go and clean that gully on a yearly basis, it's only got 25% silt level. So we don't need to clean that every year. That, that gully can safely be left for three years before it needs to be cleaned. So there are massive efficiency savings that can be gained by actually capturing this information in the first place. And I, it, the, the, in terms of ease of use, the mobile app there, the form that you can see on the right there, that is all the patroller has to fill in. He walks up to a gully, the system will identify the, 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 the gully that he's, he's, he's standing next to, and then it asks him to fill that information in. And if that first question is, uh, was the gully cleaned and defect free? Yes, then all he's got to fill in then is the silt level, and that's it. And it's only if he says no to that, there was an issue, then it will then feed them through a slightly more complicated form that will ensure that they take photos and that they, they, they describe the defect so that somebody can make a, a, a decision as to what needs to be done with that gully back at the office. But, 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 but that, 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 that solution is in place now in, in a, a number of authorities, and it is the only thing they need that does the complete gully management start to finish. Uh, how have we done on time? So the other one that is, so, so, so the, the just, I won't go into the detail on all these ones, but just to, to highlight the, the main functionalities. So we've got the Core Capture Pro. So that, that takes the, the Core Capture that we discussed uh, earlier and adds some additional functionality, the ability to upload data into the portal, navigation, and the ability to connect to those high accuracy GPS. That all comes with the Capture Pro product. The Canopy one is focused on uh, environmental agencies. So it comes with a set of forms for the bushy standard tree surveys and, and your phase one habitat surveys, but it's, uh, and, and, but it's also a, a full tree defect management system as well. So if you're going out, if you're a landowner who's got a, a duty of care for making sure your trees are properly managed, then there's a complete work order, there's a complete workflow in there for going out, recording the fact that you've inspected a tree, noting down any defects, and then those defects are highlighted in a series of dashboards until somebody comes along and does something. And, and we are working with some councils where the, that we're actually giving access to their subcontractors, access to K-Mobile as well. So the work orders for the subcontractors are being delivered out in K-Mobile for them to go out, they can navigate to the jobs, uh, they can see where the work needs doing, they can perform the work, and then they can take photographs of the, the work being done and have that directly back in the portal even before they've left site. So you know, a lot of times it's difficult to get subcontractors to buy into this sort of technology because there's always a fear, oh, I'm being tracked. You can see what time I arrived on site. You, know, you can see how long it took to do the job. Yes, theoretically, we can do that, but there are also significant benefits because we're giving you that ability to navigate. You know, everything is being distributed wirelessly. You can navigate to jobs. You can provide the evidence. You can, you can get sign-off 
while you're still on site, that the client is happy with the work you've done, so so the subcontractor can get paid quicker. That's that, that, that there's a lot of lot of buy-in from the subcontractors once they hear that the oh I can get paid quicker for this work. Uh, there's a, a fiber product that is we're getting get into the more sophisticated products now when we go into the fiber because that that brings in uh, machine uh, the the, uh, the 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 vehicle mounted mobile mapping data. And it has a very focused workflow on, on taking a fiber design and going through the whole process of tweaking the design, uh, providing bill of quantities costings for how much that, that, that design is going to cost and how much the changes have affected the cost. And then going through to the operational build as well. So we ensuring that it's built as it was designed and providing an as built as built record at the end of it. So that when something goes wrong in in two years' time, or in my case, with my fiber, every six months, the engineer can come out and can find exactly where your your pot, your your point of, of terminator, was actually installed. Uh, and then the one I will delve into a little bit is the roadway. So this is this is probably our most sophisticated product that brings together a whole range of Trimble technology. Uh, so, so it's it's mobile mapping, it's point clouds, it's Generating author mosaic views uh, that, that, that are then fed into a machine a machine intelligence system that will allow defects to be automatically detected, and then going through the whole process of assigning people out to, re, to 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 fix specific defects. So there's a design phase, sending it out to the to the field engineers, and then report recording the the. Uh, the actual repair work that was set, that was performed on site. So we're doing that for uh, we're doing that at the moment for, for an organisation that has been doing this job for years and years and years. They've got very successful workflows in place for, for, have, for having done this, but they've got no long term storage of, of those defects. So at the moment, they they know that all the work is being done, but they've got no real analysis of. Is the, is the repair that we're applying there actually working? Or is it in, in six months time, has it actually degraded and needs repair again? Uh, just go, we won't go into the, If anybody's interested in any more of those products, there's, there's a lot of information behind those, those buttons that, that, that goes into more detail, but I won't go into too much of that uh, to now. And then, uh, this bit, I'll pass back over to Richard to run through some real-world examples. Thanks, Paul. So just briefly, we just thought we'd give you a couple of examples of how this technology has been used and, and how people are, are using it. So just one application, looking at that uh, little catalyst antenna uh, working at centimetre level of accuracy with a TDC 600, and the capture software. Um, so this is Morrison Utilities that uh, needed to send out a list of properties to go and inspect and capture the stop valve and the connection point to the main um, and then produce a nice report around that. So uh, being water than centimetre position was absolutely paramount to this and being able to get cover levels of uh, the connection points and the stop taps um, and also being able to take photographs and get a nice report around those assets exactly where they are and what they are so that they could report back to Yorkshire Water um, on these uh, assets. So pushing the data out, capturing the data, and then bringing it back into the portal to report on, which may sound a very simple solution. However, just on phase one of the project, saved in excess of £20,000 just on the data capture process. Obviously, over the 12, last 12 months, trying to work in a COVID-friendly way, um, because the data was pushed out remotely to devices, no visiting the office to, to get your next uh, set of properties to go and visit. There was no paper involved to handle documents and hand paper between uh, work colleagues. Um, we managed to reduce the travel for any resurveys, reducing the carbon footprint by 1.43 tonnes. 
and in total saved around 60 days and around 10,000 miles in driving uh, just in travel. So just from a simple data capture solution, you can see going back to that mission statement about making businesses be as effective as they can be, that is just, you know, proof that just a, even just a simple solution that doesn't cost you know a huge amount of money can really bring benefits to a business like morrison's um just a couple of quotes from andy at morrison's you know real value in having up-to-date information in a single source instantly available to anybody who has access to the portal and to be able to capture data from sites with one to two centimeters accuracy using just a mobile app and a Trimble Catalyst is second to none. And this project has been shortlisted for the Water Industry Awards in uh, this year. So I think the results of those awards are at the end of this month. So we will know um, if we've won that award later uh, this month. And then again, just to show you, as we're talking about mapping as a whole, um, just to show you some data that can be captured from the drones. So um, at the top is a high definition aerial image, uh, an author mosaic that's been generated. So just from putting a, a copter up in the air, being able to capture data and stitch them together to create a nice accurate uh, author mosaic. Bottom right, we've got data from the Anafi USA using the thermal camera to highlight where there's actually uh, a field on fire and exactly where that burn is in the field. And then bottom left-hand corner is some data that was captured by PDS, one of our customers. Um, and this was um, data captured for Welsh water earlier this year when all the flooding happened and they needed to get a, an accurate view of exactly um, what had what flooding had, had occurred and where the damage was. So that is one of the main A ro roads going through uh, the middle of Wrexham, and you can see it's completely underwater. So just to be able to put a drone up in the air quickly and go and capture some uh, video footage of exactly what the damage is and how they can best react to, uh, to what's happened. And then also mapping on a larger scale with uh, one of the fixed wing drones, this can give you an idea of, of just what's possible with a, a fixed wing drone. So just being able to capture huge amounts of data. This is not a photograph. This is uh, accurate point cloud data down to three centimeters level of accuracy, purely from stitching together the images taken from the drone and turning that into uh, a point cloud. So you can see just the amount of data that could be captured in a very short space of time to give you a, a map of a different variety. But again, it's all about capturing data, formapping and delivering results uh, at the end of the process that helps benefit your business and gain the information that you need to, to be able to act on. And then just finally back over to Paul for the last few slides, just on some ArcGIS online integration and then just some of the, the new developments in the software. Yeah, okay, thanks, Rich. So Richard mentioned earlier on that uh, we're now uh, Esri Silver Partner. So our first step into this Esri world is to get uh, K-Mobile integrated with ArcGIS online. So we now have the uh, options. If you, Rich, if you just click on the top right-hand corner of that TV screen. There's a little, uh, that, that's all you need to do. If you log onto your K portal, there's a little bit of information to enter about if you want to synchronize the data that you're capturing in K Mobile and K Portal with your ArcGIS, then you just fill in those, those four or five pieces of information, and that's, that, that's the job done. That information will then be available inside your ArcGIS online, so it's also available inside your ArcGIS desktop. And it's that easy to be able to use K Mobile for doing. Uh, where, where, where you want it to end up in, in an ArcGIS environment. The other bits that we're moving with, with, with Esri is providing, I think Richard touched on before, uh, taking some of the Esri tools and building them into K-Mobile as well. So we, we are looking at doing a version of K-Mobile that has an Esri mapping interface so that 
data never leaves the edge environments. It's you, it's it's hosted inside the Azure environments. It's built, the mobile application is built on the Azure platforms and the Azure tools, but we can still provide the customized workflows that we've always done for our K-Mobile users. So if anybody's, if anybody has, has already made that big Azure investment, then we can help on making the data capture efficient and as simple as possible for your field users. And then just a, a, a brief one on the, the latest developments we've been working on is augmented reality. Augmented reality is absolutely everywhere inside the GIS uh, markers. But what we've done, we, we don't call this augmented reality. We call this augmented navigation and augmented capture. So it's, it's not a standalone augmented reality product. It's a process that's built into our K-Mobile that aids age you doing the job that you are K-Mobile. So in this particular scenario, we were showing a, a, how easy it is to be able to find a very specific defect. One of the issues that some of the road companies identified is that in the past, road defects have been identified as a change. There's a pothole that needs fixed at change 1533 down this particular section. So in order to be able to get to that, They've had to walk to where the section marker is, get a road out, and then walk 1,500 meters down the section to where they think the defect is. And if they're, if they're off a bit, if they're off by 10 meters, it can be really difficult to see some of these defects. And, and there's been scenarios where the wrong defect has been repaired. So the, the office think the defect's been fixed, but actually it was, it was a different thing that was fixed, not the defect they wanted them to do. So this sort of navigation, uh, uh, has you know loads of applications for where you're trying to get somebody to get an accurate location. Uh, it, it, it would work perfect. It would work great in the idea if you if you're doing drainage work and you've got a flood, you would be able to show this is where my drains actually are, even when they're under two foot of water. So you know, so you, somebody could wade out there and actually unstuck the drain with, uh, by being navigated exactly where it is. But anything that's underground work where you, you you're going to now, if you want to fix a cable and you've got a location along the cable that the, where there's a potential break, there's, there's, there's no easier way of navigating to a point than using that sort of augmented reality view. And then we've also got the, the, the opposite side of that is what we call augmented capture. So this is where you don't want to actually go and occupy a location. If, you, if you're capturing potholes from the side of a road or you want to capture a tree location without walking underneath the dense canopy, you can use the same sort of augmented capture process to stand to the side, use the augmented reality technology to get a, a feel for your environment and then just identify that's the location I want to record by just tapping on the screen. But the, but the beauty of it inside K-Mobile is it's, you're not having to reinvent the wheel. It's, it's not a whole new product. It's just a couple of extra options that are built into the K-Mobile product. So the, the, the it's accessible from all those other workflows that we've talked about. Okay, thanks, Paul. Um, that brings us to the end of our overview of the solutions from Correct Mapping now. Um, if anybody has got any questions, you can type them in the box and uh, we can answer them online or we can follow up with you afterwards um, and answer them directly over email. I'll just wait a minute to see if, if any come through. Yeah, we've, we've not had anything yet, Richard. Um, if you want to go on to the next slide, Richard, and then your email addresses will be on screen, so we can give people a few moments to submit anything. And then, of course, like you say, they can always send uh, emails directly if there's anything that comes in when we finish. Yeah, but I don't think that, that slides in there, Harriet. So my oh, email is just richard.goldswin at correctgroup.com. Um, you'll get that on the website if you need to or just you can email Harriet or through the the uh, presentation mm -hmm. to contact us mm. well it must have been a very thorough presentation Rich and Paul so um, yeah no questions okay all right, well, without further ado then, um, I think we're, we're finished here. So thanks everybody for attending. Um,
mention if there are any follow-up questions feel free to contact us you can just search for us on google correct or any of our email addresses or find us on linkedin as well um but yeah that we're done thanks guys okay, okay. thanks, thanks everyone. everyone cheers Bye -bye.